Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic that many Eucharists have questions about, the treatise worms. To start, let's understand what the treatise worms are. Uh, these worms are small organisms that feed on decomposing matter, such as leftover food, dead plants, and other debris present in the aquarium. The detritus worms may not be seen much if the substrate is not steered, but they are there to play their part. For this video, I purposely uh, steered up the sand to make them more visible. Despite their name, they are not harmful. On the contrary, they play an important role in the health of our aquatic ecosystem. Typically, they are introduced through plants, substrate or even fish that brings the tritus worms eggs with them. Once in the aquarium, this organism multiplied rapidly becomes visible to the naked eye. Now, let's understand exactly what the treatise worms do in the aquarium. These small creatures work as decomposers breaking down and processing the accumulated debris in the substrate and less accessible areas. This activity is important for maintaining a healthy environment, as it helps combat the accumulated of toxins and prevents uh, the formation of unwanted algae. Furthermore, it's worth nothing the benefits brought by uh, the treated worms in the aquarium. They are an excellent source of food for fish and invertebrates, especially uh, for species that exhibit foraging behavior in the substrate for food. The treated worms also promote better oxygen circulation in the aquarium sediments, keeping them uh, healthy and well oxygenated. Now, if at any point you wish to eliminate or reduce the detritus worm population, there are some measures that can be taken. However, it's important to remember that they are a natural part of the aquatic uh, ecosystem and their complete removal can affect the aquarium balance. One option is to reduce the amount of debris in the aquarium through controlled feeding and removing and consuming food. This will help limit the growth of the detritus worm population. Another measure is the use of fish and invertebrates that feed on these worms, such as cichlids or shrimps, for example. We can also control them by removing them manually siphoning them out, uh, as I'm doing with the hose. In short, the treatise worms are beneficial organisms for the aquarium, playing an important role in the decomposition of organic matters and contributing to the health of aquatic ecosystem. It's crucial to understand their role and uh, take advantage to, uh, of their benefits, but also be aware 
of options in case it's necessary to control their population. Also, there are not dangerous, the fact that there are a lot of the Dritus worms in the aquarium is a sign that we need to control something and it's usually uh, overfeeding and not siphoning the sand. In my case, I think they are completely under control. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a bit more about the Dritus worms. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out uh, on future topics about aquarium keeping. Thank you for your support and see you in the next videos.